a mystery. General rule of thumb, I think that all, um, all dog owners should consider um, kind of exercising some level of precaution at this time. <laughs> Dogs across the nation and here in Montana are falling sick. Plus, a new era for an old billing staple. Everything's the same, except for a different location. We'll take you into Village Inn Pizza as they look forward to the future while keeping a slice of the past and lifting towards success. I know I can get stronger, and I can get stronger pretty fast. A 15-year-old West High student is powering her way to world records. The MTN 530 News starts right now. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 530 News. Well, good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Russ Riesinger. 15 to 20 percent. That's how much more the average Montanan is expected to pay in property taxes in the coming year. And one reason some Montanans are now being forced to make some difficult decisions. MTN's Jackie Coffin caught up with one Montana retiree now headed back to work to try and offset those rising costs. This is local lawmakers and the governor's office trade jabs over who's responsible for the tax hike. Montana's tax bills are going up. Mine went up 18.7%, a steep increase from the 3 to 4% rate it had been at over the last four years. And I'm not alone. Oh. It'll kill us. When I first met Bob Bladel back in June, he was showing me a property tax appraisal he couldn't believe. From the year before, one year time had gone up $118,000 with zero improvements done to the house during that time period. That notice sent in June was just an appraisal. Bladel now has his bill. I had him do a reassessment on mine. It went up even more. 916 annually is how much mine went up. Bladel couldn't meet with me at his home because he's in training for a new job, returning to work to account for rising costs. So I am getting hit quite hard, and I don't know who to blame on that. And Bladel is not alone. It's more than frustration, it's anger. State Senator Brad Molnar, a Republican from Laurel, doesn't mince words when asked about the handling of property tax valuations. Everybody saw the writing on the wall. Uh, there was nobody anywhere that didn't know that valuations were going to go through the roof, particularly in the largest counties. We knew it. We talked about it. We discussed it. We did nothing. Why didn't the legislature take action on it? Well, there's uh, a couple of reasons. Uh, Molnar blames various factions in the legislature and members of both bill. parties who he says are hyper-focused on protecting local funding. They don't care what, where the challenge comes from. Molnar did try and do something. He called for three special sessions to address the problem and then even took more drastic action. You know, eventually I filed a lawsuit trying to protect the people of Montana. The governor's office uh, went, went to battle against the taxpayers. He won. And uh, so he will collect another $80 million. But Molnar knows the battle isn't over. Expecting property taxes to be a big topic in the 2024 elections and the next legislative session. If the people feel they can't trust those in control, then you're setting yourself up for a revolution. Now, that revolution is probably at the ballot box. It might be they don't have any money and can't pay their taxes. So now what are you going to do? In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News. A scary deja vu at Billings West High School. A shooting threat found written inside a bathroom at the school yesterday afternoon. It comes exactly one year after a similar threat was found written also in a bathroom inside the building. This is video of that incident from November 30 of 2022 hinting at a shooting on December 7th. Nothing ever came of that threat, but the school was forced into a lockdown after a swatting threat was made on December 9th. School District 2 officials sent out a note to parents and students last night after finding the threat. And while they say there is no immediate danger, they are not taking any chances. We did have, you know, an increased police presence at the building just to be on the safe side to show that we are taking things seriously. Uh, but not, not because we thought something was going to happen, but just, just to let people know that we do take things seriously. Klasna says West officials and the school resource officer are investigating that incident. 
Dogs are often known as humans' best friends, loyal to a fault sometimes and always there when we need them. But now there's concern for their health this holiday season as a mysterious illness is quickly spreading across the nation and here in Montana. The virus is highly contagious and can last a long time. But as of now, vets have no idea what it is or how to treat it. Our Haley Monaco has more on this scary sickness. For many pet owners, our dogs are like family. Come here, Ollie. So when there's a new mysterious dog virus that's popping up across the nation, it's concerning for pet owners. So I set out to see if this has hit the Billings area and what we can do to protect our furry friends. <laughs> I think it was about a week ago I was here and uh, another dog owner mentioned that uh, she was concerned about her dog drinking out of the water pan that's over by the dog fountain. On a chilly Thursday morning, Ron Hunter and his dog Dodger spent some time at the dog park. He's got all the shots and everything else, so uh, I guess that's, you can't protect him from everything, you know. Hunter isn't concerned about the respiratory dog illness spreading across the country and now being reported in over a dozen states. The challenging thing about this is there's probably more that we don't know at this time than we do know. State veterinarian Tawny Shemansky says there are potential cases in Montana, with several vets in Gallatin County reporting 20 to 50 cases per clinic. I think that if we are seeing cases, and they really are kind of consistent with what we're seeing at the national level, I think it's very likely that it will crop up in other areas. The highly contagious illness starts with a cough and can progress to pneumonia. It lasts weeks and in some cases, fatal. Vets are recommending you limit your pet's interaction with other dogs. The whole building is sanitized as well. So it's, it's a really important thing and that's been our best practice since we opened. At Molly and Friends Doggy Daycare and Boarding, owner Jody McKay says the virus is certainly a concern. The holiday season is busy with lots of people boarding pets and staff is maintaining strict sanitizing procedures of water and food bowls. Sending dogs home if they're sick or asking parents not to bring them if they're not feeling good. McKay says she understands the worry but doesn't want pet owners to panic. As of right now, I, I don't feel like it's any different than any other season. Um, but if parents are worried, you know, they can contact their vet. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News. Sun halos catching everybody's attention today. Thanks for sharing at weather at KTVQ.com. Kim shot this one out by uh, Shiloh Road. You can see the sun there and then the ice crystals around it. So the sun shining through the ice crystals that were allowed to develop because the temperatures finally dropped today. Janet caught that great picture. Matt Johnson from our own Q2 staff here as well. You see some of the colors in and around it. And then also one more here from Jim. Uh, that's only a sample of some of them that we got, but those ice crystals start turning into clouds and that could ruin our fun for tonight. There is at least some chance of seeing the northern lights. In fact, it could be a little more uh, through southern uh, parts of the country than we would typically see. The cloud cover could hold back, but if you catch a picture, let us know. A newly released report shows the outdoor economy in Montana continues to see growth. The latest numbers from the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis show Montana's outdoor economy grew 14% from 2021 to 2022. Outdoor recreation accounted for 4.3% of Montana's gross domestic product. Those numbers put the Treasure State third in the U.S. based on the proportion of its economy associated with outdoor recreation's economic impact. The 2022 economic impact of outdoor recreation nationwide is $1.1 with employment for some 5 million workers. An old Billings staple has been resurrected. Back in March, this was the scene as the 55-year-old Village Inn pizza came tumbling to the ground. Now the fresh smell of pizza has returned and so has much of the restaurant's nostalgic past. Charlie Kleps takes us inside this new yet old hotspot. It may not look like the exact building of the original Village Inn from the outside, but when you step inside the front doors past customers, you're going to feel right at home. And there's a lot of reasons why. I had a lot of memories at the old one. 
If you've lived in Billings at any time over the last 60 years, there's a pretty good chance you've enjoyed a slice of Village Inn pizza. Many, many years we were really disappointed when it went away. But back in March, that building was leveled, and many feared they'd never enjoy a slice again. We loved Village Inn pizza. Our kids grew up there just like every other kid in town, it seems like, grew up there. Most Magic City families reluctantly said farewell, but not the Smiths. We literally grew up over in that neighborhood, and so seemed only right to to just jump in and say this has to stay. And so the family started negotiating with the 94 year old owner and struck a deal where else but right in the middle of the old restaurant. So it was kind of funny it was all on a on a piece of paper that we wrote everything down and signed it. An unusual start to what's been a very unusual journey. When we said we were looking at it the first thing out of everybody's mouth was are you bringing the red cups back? So we're like yeah, we'll bring the red cups back. And then we're like, let's just bring everything back. And that means everything, from the red cups and the signs to the lights, stools, and even the original Pac-Man machine. And yes, this is the original front door. Even the restaurant's old phone number is the same. 406-656-6706 for your pizzas. That's just the way it had to be. I mean, we did want it to be, obviously, a little upgraded version, but the old village in and that includes all of the original recipes the stove and even the restaurant staff I think I get the most emotional when I see like our staff the people who really started it when I see them get emotional and they're looking around and they're feeling it that's the best part a community staple reborn as this family hopes to bring memories and a nostalgic slice of pizza back to Billings this is like a resurrection we're glad to be here again so far so good Charlie Kleps, MTN News. Well, still to come on the MTN 530 News here on Q2, a powerlifting prodigy. Just months into the sport, this 15-year-old is already breaking world records and winning national competitions. We'll meet her next. And later, a New Zealand sibling duo now looking to lead Rocky basketball to new heights. We'll meet them coming up in just a bit.